good people welcome back to mb moments if you're new here welcome to mb moments i'm super excited to have you here my name is miriro and today i have a very special guest Rudo, <laughs> the bookworm. <laughs> Literally, Rudo and I were just talking. We are actually at school today. Rudo is a tutor. Rudo was on the dean's list this year. She is really <laughs> excelling. Congratulations. <laughs> and I believe that whenever you see people doing something that is great, you shouldn't. Don't be jealous, first of all. Take notes. Be inspired. Yeah. You know? So I was like, you know what? Let me actually invite her and find out how she is doing it, how she is surviving university and law school. Because you seem to be doing pretty well <laughs> on the surface. In terms of balancing my academics and my extracurricular activities, right. how do I go about that to ensure that I'm still excelling at school? Right. I mean, it's a difficult balance. You need to know yourself, first mm -hmm. of all. I know for me, for example, last year, I had a whole lot more things. I was tutoring, I was playing basketball, and then I decided to be on the Vid Sports Council. So that was insane. Mm -hmm. I admit that, but mm -hmm. I had to... You have to split yourself then. Mm -hmm. You have to decide, so I'm going to uh, spend two hours on this, and then if I'm not done by that time, it's done. Let me move on to the next thing. Okay. And you need to realize what you can and what you can't do. You're only human. So okay. if it's not working, be honest with yourself and say, this is not working. And that's why I decided not to run for Fit Sports Council this year again. Okay. So please tell us, how does your day look like? Okay, so my days are very interesting. Okay. Basically, I wake up, mm -hmm. I try to make it for my 8 a.m. class, mm -hmm. usually five minutes late. <laughs> Not good with time. Okay. Um, so I'm in class the whole day. If I have a break in between, that's when I study or read just before my class to prepare for that. So you go to the library during the break? I'm not a library person. That's the strangest thing. Um, okay. I actually like going to the computer labs. Okay. Everyone says it's loud and there's a lot of noise, mm -hmm. but I don't know. It's comforting. I don't know why. I okay. just, I can concentrate better there. Okay. So and if I'm tutoring, I just read through the brief before I go. I go in for the class. I tutor, mm -hmm. ask questions, and then I dash off and try finish off whatever work I still have. Okay. And then usually my day ends around 4, it's mm -hmm. usually where my class ends. Mm -hmm. And then in between that, so I have two hours before practice time, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. So I read or I actually watch series, I won't lie. I, okay. I will watch series. So okay. I'll watch like one and then uh -huh. with the remaining time I do do some work. And then I go for practice. Basketball <laughs> practice. Yeah. Drink. So it's a I was told I was always told it's an 80 20 rule. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Twenty percent talent, eighty percent sweat. I so you. I apply the same thing to my studies. Mm -hmm. If I'm seeing that okay, this course is really gonna make me struggle, mm -hmm. admin no. Mm -hmm. Beware. So <laughs> you, I read a lot more mm -hmm. for that and then I look at practice questions mm -hmm. and you gotta do the practice questions quite often. So just tell me, how do you go about your studying? Do you write notes? Do you um, listen to lecture recordings? Do you have a study group? What works for you? Okay, so study groups don't work for me. Like just I am completely the opposite. Yeah. Study groups really work for me, um, but also I can work by myself. Mm. But I I find that I remember most when I'm able to, to teach or speak. Okay. So even when I'm studying by myself, mm. I'm that person I will talk to myself. Oh, right. Most times you'll find me in the study room during the night because mm. there's no one in the study room. All right, so so I can talk speak. to myself and I can, you know, and that's yeah. how I actually learn. Right. Yeah. No, because I, I realize people have different study methods. Mm -hmm. For me, what works is sitting for three hours looking at a book. Well, literally, once I sit down, mm -hmm. that's why I usually am not online. So okay. when people try to text me, like I'm in the like I'm in the zone. Once okay. I start reading, I've got to read through the whole. That's thing. a big one nowadays yeah. for students, ensuring that you don't spend too much time on social media. Because I this is the method that I've had to implement now. Yeah. When I go to study, either in the library or study room, right. I'll just leave my phone behind. Okay. Because when it's there, <laughs> I don't gonna want to lie. Yes, gonna be like, and mm. I'm going to be scrolling. So how do you manage social media and ensuring that it's you're not funny. distracted? It's a funny trick, actually. Okay. okay don't buy data oh so okay if but I'm wi-fi at home i don't have wi-fi oh okay so it's only when i'm on campus that i can go through my social media oh so guys don't buy data <laughs> so Apparently. i don't buy data so okay. if i don't have data i can't log in on anything so oh wow yeah 
what study tips can you give us? I think I also have a few to share, but what... Uh -huh. So, basically what I start from doing is looking at the scope of the exam, right? Okay. Um, I don't spot, because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm the luckiest person. I feel like I will choose the topic that's definitely not going to come in the exam. And past papers and the exercises at the end of the textbook. Those really help. I know it seems tedious, and I used to be like, oh my god, why do we mm -hmm. need to do this? But it helps practicing how you're going to answer a question because it helps you gather your thoughts. And most of the time, the exam question is structured in oh, such a way. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So it will help you better organize your thoughts. Please tell me how, like, how do you keep up to date when it comes to cases? Law students know this. <laughs> One case can be. 200 pages. So how do you keep up to date with all your cases and readings as well? Yeah. Guys, my apologies if there are any sounds. Construction is everywhere at this yeah. university. They huh. like to do it during the semester, <laughs> which is the strangest thing. Yes. For well, the readings, honestly, like you try to do that thing where you prepare for the class. Okay. I don't usually have enough time for that. I prepare after the fact. So um with the cases right you go to class and then they tell you what they want from the cases the principle that stems from the case so mm -hmm. maybe this case is about social justice mm -hmm. right so now when you go read the case right you look at the fly note and then you pick up okay so they're going to talk about social justice okay. so i read a little bit of the background which okay. is just the first three or so paragraphs right you can browse through that you don't need to know fact by fact so this guy died and then unless it's property more and then i skip everything in the middle okay right? and i go to the bottom where it says major majority study minority. smart mm. okay. and then once i know that i'm good for now right oh, and then now i can word. move on to the next one i've been going wrong with that yeah. one i feel like i'm very meticulous i'm a detailed mm. person so at times yeah. it takes me so long because mm. i want to know every, every single thing, thing. No. and at times i run out of time because I don't cover as much work because to be honest you won't finish all the court cases and read everything in them okay all right and then another trick that I have mm -hmm. is you know they say don't google the case right? yeah you don't google it you google analysis on the cases right so oh. lawyers usually write articles okay. on a, on a case right especially the big ones okay. and then especially those that change the law and they give a critical analysis um, why it was good why it was bad mm -hmm. and in that they talk about what the judge said and the reasoning okay. it helps you better understand the case but besides the academic side of mm -hmm. it i believe that it's very important to keep a balance in terms of emotionally or mentally yeah. there are times where i found that i'm not in a good space to actually study or um you know understand the work that i am doing mm -hmm. and i believe that working out really helps yeah. eating healthy yeah. as well so, and i i honestly think this has worked for me i pray every night before i sleep mm -hmm. and i pray just before i start reading the exam paper the prayer guys is actually so fundamental yeah. for me it really works as yeah. well i pray right before I write my exams. Involving God in your studies is such a big part. Literally, even when you're studying, yeah, you before that. when you're studying, declare over your books. Like you know what? Mm. I am. I am more than a conqueror. I can yes. understand. I have what it takes yeah. to actually understand yeah. this. And it's got this strange calming effect. Mm. And once you open that paper, you know nothing's gonna get you. So final year, all the best with final year. I'm gonna need it. And thank you so much for all the advice, guys. If you have any more tips on how to survive law school, mm -hmm. please kindly comment down below and tell us how do we go about it. Thank you, Rodolfo, for coming along. Thank you for having me. And well done on all the work that you're doing. You're excelling, and I'm just like, yes, let's go, Sissy. Thank, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Toodles! Bye! Bye.